Guess who's back, guys? We're back with fucking pink haired dating suits. Whoa, whoa! We know it's been a while. I mean, for us, it's been actually. That's been kind it's of. It's been long. about seven, eight hours since we played this. Yeah. We streamed Dark Souls, Dead Space, and Halo for like three to four hours. And then we ate pizza. And now we here we are. Here. Okay. Day Recap. two. Talking to fucking. I have no idea when this is going to be uploaded or anything. Uh, we're talking to Ian, aka Brittle Moose. Oh, I think I left so we didn't know who he was. You know but, what you said? Um, my left us alone. My had to little. Oh, right. No, no, no. Our bag was about to break. Our bag was supposed, was about to break. So my, I might even want to walk down with us to our locker to get it. Because she would miss all the good bread in the cafeteria. Yeah. So we got there and we got stuck with fucking melon bread. I want to try because it looks delicious. And we're looking for my and we go to the table and there's a boy there. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? Oh, that's you. I mean, that was a good voice if you want to do that. Do you want me to voice, uh, do you want me to voice in at the time and you can do mine? Just for a bit. Because I was screaming a lot during the other last Okay, place, so you want to so. chill? Yeah, you were screaming more than I was. I was laughing. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, we just felt like the past, I spent like the past three hours screaming. Screaming, yeah. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. And he was wearing a jacket just like the normal boots club, but different. A gold and gray jacket with an 8-bit block on the front. Was he a member of another club? Or maybe he was friends with them? Hey, what? There she Really? She shows up right now? Fucking... Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> my appeared me between me and the boy who glanced up at us before returning to his spaghetti. Thank goodness I found you! I saved a table for you in the back! I'm sorry, I just remembered Ian was eating spaghetti with fucking a spoon. It's <laughs> not how you eat spaghetti! Me too. Oh, um, that's how I eat spaghetti. Excuse you. I look at the boy oh, and the back of my. Come on. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me back to, into the back of the room. Fucking bodybuilder, my. Hey, what's wrong? You are so lucky I got there when I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His real name is Ian. He's from the Hidden Book Club. Hidden Book Club? The Hidden Block Club? Oh. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the rival club of the normal boots. He's really weird, I mean... Shook around her to make sure no one was listening in, but we were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in comic sans. Whoa! Shit, just got real. Yeah, it'd be better to stay away from him. Especially since you've already gotten to know some of the normal boots guys. What are you talking about? I just met John today. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He totally likes you. Really? Really? Is that what you if is that what you thought it was? Either Mai was blind or she has a serious case of wishful thinking. Oh, totally. It was so cute. Just like my favorite manga. You meet in high school, fall in love, and then go off and fight aliens together. <laughs> She is me. I don't think that's going to happen. Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's happening. So, now that you're in good with PBG, can you introduce me to Jared? Oh, was that what she was getting at? A hot flash of doubt sees me. Was it possible Aww. that Mai only liked me because she thought I knew the normal boots guy? She liked her before. That couldn't be the case, though. She was so nice. She liked her before they. she knew that, though. Still, looking at her shining, eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. No, Mai's a sweet, angel's special baby. I actually thought PBG didn't like me. What? What? Why'd you think that? That's you. Yeah. Well, he was glaring at me. Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle. Oh, oh my. Wait, a triangle now? Oh, oh shit. shit. Don't look. Don't look. Don't my cluttered look. desktop. Okay, we're back. Fuck. You have to click it. There you go. I can see it. Stars practically erupted from her eyes. PBG, I can't. But Hana, I love I 
love you. But... My maidenhood... Why are you going with this? I say my fork on the table. Miley pleased with herself. My reads yaoi. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You're really cute when you blush. You almost match your hair. That... That's not fair at all. That's just a bit gay, Hana. A little bit. I beg to differ. Still... I searched my mind, eager to change the subject. Ah, uh, that was an impressive scenario. What? What? No! It wasn't! I just made it up on the spot! She's you. Yeah. My <laughs> laugh nervously. <laughs> Seriously, Smiley, it's like these amazing ideas, and there's like, no, 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 I just thought that on like 20 minutes, please. <laughs> oh, so that girl who was talking to you when we got separated. Mai told the story of her past friendship with a girl like they were internal arch nemeses. Apparently, they had some bad blood. I can't believe she fucking stole my nail polish and didn't give it back. It's so fucking rude. I can't fucking believe this. It wasn't even her fucking color. She's totally I a nodded, summer and it was a winter. <laughs> I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together. As I head towards the door, though, Mai hesitated. Hey... I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh? Need any help? No, no. I'm totally okay. I'm just going to go get it. I'll see you later, though, right? Okay. See you in class. She's so precious. <laughs> I waved and my spread off towards the, dorm towards the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and head back to Poppy Hall. Protect her. Protect Hana. Every single time Mai leaves, she meets a Hana meets a boy. <laughs> My nose. Mai's trying it. Large groups of seven or eight people were laying in the, out in the sun, playing catch and eating lunch on the lawn. It looks like fun to have so many friends like that. I smiled. Maybe the school really could be better than my last. Emily. My pink hair brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, our club's better than yours, damn right. Club's better than yours. And then I'm like, I'm allergic to boys. <laughs> Without students inside of it, Poppy Hall looked a bit like an abandoned hospital. My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. With a sigh, I opened my locker and pulled out the book Satch, Satch gave me. It was a good thing I brought after all. Hey. What would happen if we didn't bring the book? I don't fucking know. She'd be lazy and bored and alone forever. Same. I stepped into the classroom and saw a flash of movement by the window. A boy sat on the windowsill. He jerked up when I came in. Fucking Tsunade. He was so hel- he was sil- silhouetted. There we go. That's how the word works. We haven't unlocked his edgy persona. <laughs> we haven't unlocked his face yet by the afternoon sun, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Did I bother you? The boy stood and shook his head, then crossed to the desk opposite inside the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Another normal boots jacket? <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy... I just saw a picture of a dinosaur called the Heterodont. <laughs> this guy was shamed for the Normal Boots Club. How on earth did this keep happening to me? Your that, main character. The question we all are asking ourselves. Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeted with his hands a little, then turned to look at me. Shane's British, right? Yeah. You're the new girl. I nodded. My name's Hannah. It's nice to meet you. He nodded. Nod, nod. Shane. Silence filled the space of twins. Panic built up inside me. This is my chance to get a normal boots club when I was blowing it. In case you guys don't know. I don't, I don't know if people know Shane. Mm. But uh, Shane's the person he writes all of Did You Know Gaming? Because he doesn't voice any of his own stuff. He has mm -hmm. all the other guys voice it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You, uh... Shane looked at me, unsmiling. You're part of the Normal Boots Club? Yes, I am. Why? He spoke as if it were a challenge, almost glaring at me. Oh, I, I just saw your jacket, so I showed off. The jacket's really cool. Yes, they are. Silence again. He seemed skeptical. 
As though to expect me to cry my skin and reveal myself to be a large amphibious reptile. Plot twist, Han is a xenomorph. <laughs> I had to do something. Who knew another chance like this would come? My guess is next time Mai leaves you. Yeah. She's going to have some serious abandonment issues. <laughs> but Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. Surely he wasn't on to me already. He knows I'm an alien. Maybe it was better not to risk it. Ooh. I want to talk to him. You want to? I want to talk to him. Okay. So you you play games then? Shane looked over at me. Uh, I've always been interested in video games, but I didn't play them much growing up. They were really expensive and my dad couldn't afford them, but I used to go over to my friend's house and play there. Shane didn't respond. Now what? I was asked stuff to say. What did you play? What? He's smiling somewhat. What? Oh, Nario Kart. Ah. Ah. We'd go into battle mode in the triple deck. Oh, I fucking hate that level. <laughs> he could would drive around by himself on the top level. I tried to booby trap the lower level. There's a good spot next to the ramp. I'd wait there until my mom came racing down the ramp to find me, then smash it with a red shell. He turned I Irish. That too. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Shane's angry stare faded. He was smiling. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and sort of Irish, apparently. <laughs> it's the jacket. The jacket's making me go into a greenish accent. He made the whole room seem ten sh- times shades brighter, or maybe has more relaxed. What shade? A shade of gray? A shade of pink? Green? <laughs> Your mom must have been mad. No madder than my fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> She was, but she always let me do it. Probably on purpose. Did your mom... Look at that little smile. Protect him. Protect him. He is small. The door slid open. Mimi and her friends, a couple of children and girls, entered the classroom. They stopped and stared for me to Shane. It was clear they thought they were interrupting something, even though we were sitting on the opposite side of the classroom. Because they fucking were. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are sitting new to each other. Opposite of the classroom. Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy they caught me talking to the Shane of the Normal Boots Club. <laughs> the girls went to their desks and sat down. What were you? Shane was staring at me again, an odd hurt look on his face. Mm. I immediately felt like I was caught doing something I wasn't supposed to. Do you know what I was trying to do? But... I mean, it wasn't like I didn't want to talk to him. He was an interesting guy. It's not like I only talked to him because he was in the normal boots. Kind of was. Kind of was. Kind of. You're literally like trying to go to the mob to get protection. Yeah. Like, hey, here's you guys popular. I need protection. She's going to bang all of the boots. (laughs) No. Don't bang all the boots. Stick your titty in the boot. (laughs) No. (laughs) Do you stick both in one boot or one per boot? One per boot. Okay. I want boob tits or boob tits. <laughs> nice use of fucking fuck. What's the word? <laughs> Synonyms. Nice yeah. use. Of, I almost. I wanted to say something else. I want to say like citrus or salmonella, and I couldn't think about why. <laughs> salmonella. <laughs> nice use of salmonella. But he turned, pulled a notebook out and some pens, and scribbled away, thoroughly ignoring me. The air was stuffy. I talked, tugged at the collar of my shirt, and sweating. Okay, she sweat this entire fucking game. How is she not taking a shower? We don't know. We don't have shower scenes. They said they didn't do any anti scenes. Oh, God bless. The girls kept looking at me over their shoulders as if they expected something. I smiled hesitantly at them. They smiled back and started a conversation amongst themselves. The atmosphere was broken. I heaved a sigh of relief. What was up with these normal boots, guys? Too hot for you. Jean was really nice when I talked to him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. They were anything but normal. Hey! I waited for Maya to come to class, wanting desperately to tell her what happened. But then the bell, when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, my still hadn't come. We're approaching the, no, please don't tell my secret thing that was in the trailer. Class came and went. The bell rang and I was alone. PG stared at me for the entire day of class, his face growing more menacing by the minute. How his face wasn't stuck in a permafrost, I would never know. Shane and John didn't... Shane and John... I wonder if it's Sean. Uh, I think it's just... Wait, what? I think it's Shane. 
Hey, Mimi, would you like to engage in casual discourse this evening? Is that code word for sex? Yes. Yeah, of course. But why are you talking like that? <laughs> I set my book books into my backpack and head toward the dorm. <sighs> With a sigh, I unlocked the door to my room. As soon as the door opened, I heard... Hana! What? What? Maya and I lay in a heap on the floor. I'm so glad you're back. She wrapped her arms around my head and nuzzled me. Is she a fucking werewolf? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, what are you doing? Come, look, look. She got off me and helped me to my feet. Without my face feeling my vision, I saw that something had changed. Oh my goodness! The dorm room looked nothing like it had before. Aww. The posters and fairy lights were still up, but now the window had light pink curtains on it that cast a warm haze around the room. And a brand new white carpet were on the floor. Pillows were piled high in the mountain on the top bed of the bunk. Even our chairs had been replaced with new plush, cushy leather ones. What happened here? <laughs> Sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted to surprise you. I thought this would come in yesterday, but it was delayed by a day. I wanted to set it up to be a big surprise. I'm still not done yet, though. She gestured some small pot plants arranged in a neat row on her desk. Want to help? Yeah. Do I ever? Hana, oh, you're so cute. Protect her at all costs. We finished setting the room up, switching a few objects <laughs> here and there in order to facilitate the feng shui, which Mai told me was excruciatingly important. It really am, Mai. <laughs> she especially wanted to make sure her room was filled with the reds and pinks and coupled items, though for what purpose I wasn't really sure. Because pink hair and red hair. <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. We collapsed the heavy size on the floor, and then heaved a great big yawn. It's not even the end of the day yet, and I'm so tired. Me too. Wait! She saw up suddenly with a jolt. We should get some ice cream! Really? Ice cream? Really? Yeah, something to celebrate being roommates. The ice cream here on campus is genuinely good, I promise. I... Oh, she said that one. And I'm paying. Well, if that's the case, you made an offer I can't refuse. Sweet. Let's go. She really is in the fuck mob. She, she is in the, the fucking mob. Yep. Confused. The school shop was in the side building of the cafeteria, packed in with instant noodles and giant balls of soda. Students water wandered the aisles aimlessly, clearly here more to spend time than money. Did you say giant balls of soda? No. What did you say? Bottles. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine paid the cashier and we grabbed our ice cream cones, mine the one covered in sprinkles. Whoa, this is delicious! Isn't it? We're lucky to have such good food on campus. This place would be awful if we didn't. I nod and was about to respond when I noticed a commotion outside. Oh boy. Oh, let's see what's going on. Full of your fucking ice cream. <laughs> you just have empty cones. Mike grabbed my arm grabbed my arm and dragged me outside. There, three boys wearing normal boots jackets Ooh. were shouting at each other, each of their faces turning purple. Ooh. This again? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. I don't know what voices to read them in. Uh, well, there's three of them, so. Just do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, should I do one? Sure. Uh, you do, Paul. Okay. Bye. Right. Okay. I am clearly the only one who possesses the proper masculine form. I'm gonna Josh. Uh, yeah, right. I'm taller than you and more attracted to boot. Come on, guys. Can you not see these muscles? Nick pulled back the sleeves of his <laughs> jacket flex and flexed his arm. These guys always go on and on about weird stuff like this. They're very... energetic. Coming from fucking my... Honestly. Oh, yeah? Josh got into the downward-facing dog yoga pose and grinned. Ass in the air, oh. ass in the air, ass, ass, ass in the air, ass in the Look at this butt. Just look at this. 
What? I don't... Oops. What I don't understand is why they just don't... Uh, um. What I don't understand is why they just don't ask Jared. You're Paul. No, you were Paul. No, you're Paul. I'm John. You read Paul. No. I read Josh and Nick. No, I'm Josh. Okay, okay. You're Paul and Nick. Oh, yeah? Paul kneeled low to the ground, then took off in the sprint, hanging straight towards us. Yeah. Check this out. He sprang in the air with a graceful ballerina's leap, sprang through the sky, and finally came straight for me? Nice. When I opened my eyes, I was, sprawled, I was sprawled flat on the ground, covered in dirt. Something cold and wet oozed on top of my blouse, or into my blouse. <gasps> Hannah, are you okay? I sat up. Chunks of ice cream fell from my blouse to my skirt. They didn't even get their fucking ice cream, though. Yeah, they did. Ugh, what happened? You ran into someone, you idiot. My uniform. It's ruined. For a few seconds, silence. Then, snickers rippled around me like the winding of the cicadas. My throat closed up, water stinging my eyes. No, not this again. Not this, not again. I stood up, prepared to walk away with dignity, when the entirety Ooh. of the normal boots club suddenly appeared in front of my face. What happened here? Seriously? Tears slid down my face. No, not here. I didn't want to cry in front of them. Hana, you alright? Going home. Wait, Hana. It's fine. I just want to be alone for now. She's crying. I want to kill Paul. Uh, it's kill him. all of my will not to run back to the door. She's going to run into Jared. I immediately changed my pajamas and climbed to the bed. Or not. Reaching for my stuffed rabbit. <sighs> what am I going to do if this ends up just like last time? <laughs> so are we on Team Kill Paul? Uh, Hana should never have to feel this way. You hurt Hana. You hurt Hana. Hurt. We're hurting you. Mr. Bunning stared at me with his big... Lifeless eyes. I squished into my chest, losing myself to in the soft fur. The door opened with a soft click. My name is Mai. You hurt my best friend. Prepare to die. Hana, are you okay? I rolled over in bed and faced the wall, pretending to be asleep. Mai stood in the center of the room for a while, looking at me. Finally, she sat down at her desk and began to work on something. The sound of her pencil scratching against the paper stilled my mind. I don't know how many hours passed, but eventually, I fell asleep. Someone give her a hug. Give her a long hug. Alright, thanks for tuning in to this episode oh. of Asaigo Academy. We will continue soon. We'll continue soon. We're gonna kill Paul. We're gonna fucking kill Paul. Like, we're, we're gonna, gonna shove Jacob his ass. We're, we're gonna shove Jacob his ass. Nobody hears Honda like that. Nobody fucking even Nobody if, hears Hana like that. Even if it was a goddamn accident, no one fucking hurts Hana no like that. No one fucking hurts Hana like that. No one ever humiliates Hana. And then we're gonna make fun and then we're gonna kill all the people that made fun of her. Mm -hmm. Deal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh subscribe to Termia on Twitch because And that update on Twitch. Uh I don't stream though. You stream yeah, all good that. point. <laughs> so um that link will be in the description box. Uh, make sure if you guys want to see more of us without edits and stuff. Yeah. 